This video covers TempTrack's administrative reports. TempTrack includes a number of standard administrative reports for viewing and tracking data. These reports represent either a snapshot of an event or an accumulation and averaging of all equipment data. By default, many of the reports reflect the most recent day or 24-hour period. The default report period can be changed by clicking the Settings option in the menu bar. Clicking on the drop-down next to Default Report Period will allow you to change this period. When finished, click Save. This setting does not limit you from modifying a specific report period. All available reports can be found in the Reports menu on the left side of the dashboard. Each report consists of three sections, the header, report content, and footer. The header provides navigation and menu options. If the report is more than one page, you can go to another page using the left and right arrows. You can also search for specific content by entering text in the search field. You can choose to export the report in multiple formats with the disk drop-down option. The middle section, or report content, displays the generated report. Finally, the footer displays the report range and the execution time when the report was generated. The configuration change report displays an audit trail organized by date and time and user of changes made to the TempTrack system. This report is frequently used to determine when a change was made and by whom. To generate this report, select the report period and then click Run. The service status report is referred to when you are not physically logged into the server TempTrack is installed on. Here you have two options. The System Status Report allows you to quickly determine the state of the services required by TempTrack to operate normally. It also allows you to stop and start the services, which is very helpful when you are not logged into the TempTrack server. Please note, in order to stop and start services through the TempTrack interface, ASP impersonation needs to be enabled. Please contact your IT department for assistance. The other option, File Version Information, displays a list of the files, their names, version date, version, and location associated with TempTrack. The Equipment QA report shows how well equipment has been working over a period of time by displaying the lowest and highest reading, the average reading, the number of samples taken, and how many were in and out of range. Please note, this report is updated nightly around the time the database backup is performed. If the report is empty or missing data, please contact your IT department to verify the equipment QA job is running. To generate this report, select a start and end date. When you are ready, click Run. The report is broken up by group. Each line item in the group consists of a sensor, its lowest reading, its highest reading, the average reading, and how many samples were received. It also shows how many samples were out of range and the percentage of samples in range. The Security Audit Report displays an audit trail of when a user logged into TempTrack and from what location. To generate this report, select a start and end date, and only if you want to show failed login attempts. Then click Run.